chords and the strumming pattern for this song. If you want to play along with the recording, you'll need a capo at the third fret. I'm going to call out the frets from the capo, so this is the first, second, and third fret. Let's start by placing down a G chord. Put your second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, the first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, the third finger on the third fret of the second string, and the fourth finger on the third fret of the first string. Here's your G chord. The next chord is D. Moving to the D chord, don't lift your third finger. If you need to, you can press in on that finger and let the others relax and the others will just pop off of there. At that point, you want to move your second finger to the second fret of the first string and the first finger to the second fret of the third string. There's your D chord. You only need to strum strings 4, 3, 2, and 1 for the D. The next chord is E minor 7. Moving to the E minor 7, leave your third finger right where it is. You don't need to move it. Press in on that finger, let the others relax, and they'll just pop right off of there. Place your first finger on the second fret and try to cover strings 5 and 4, covering two strings with one finger. Then take your fourth finger and place it on the third fret of the first string. There's your E minor 7. You can strum all the strings for that one. The last chord is C add 9. So all you need to do is take your second finger and place it on the third fret of the fifth string. Then you got your C add 9. If you need to, you can readjust your first finger so you only hold the second fret on the fourth string. So the four chords in the song, G, D, E minor 7, then a C, and you can even hear the intro of the song just strumming those four chords in that order. Now I'm going to show you the strumming pattern, and in the strumming pattern we use the technique of the rest where you got to use the karate chop part of your hands to stop the strings. On my website at www.edkime.com, I have the complete basic rhythm course. In that course, there's an entire section devoted to teaching you how to do the rest. And it's very extensive, very detailed. You can take yourself through it. Even if you're a beginner, you have to subscribe. But for a beginner, it's a great place to start if, if you want to play easy songs with easy chords. There's easy chords that you can start with. And like I said, a lot of detailed instruction. So here's how the rhythm, rhythm goes. It's a two measure rhythm, which means it takes two measures to complete one cycle through the rhythm. During that time, we change some chords. So the first part of the rhythm, place the G chord down, you strum like this. Down, 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 up, rest. So you rest, and from the rested position, leave your strumming hand rested, change to the next chord, which is D. Then to finish the rhythm, from the rested position, strum up, down, down, up, down, up. Now you change to the next chord. Notice I'm going to leave my arm up here ready to strum down for the next chord. Change to E minor 7, and we begin the rhythm again. Down, 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 up, rest. And now we change to the C at 9. From the rested position, we complete the rhythm. Up, down, down, up, down, up. And then back to G to start the progression again. Here it is again, down, 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 rest, and then the D, up, down, down, up, down, up, E minor 7, down, 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 rest, C add 9, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, all together, down, 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 up, rest, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, rest, up, down, down, up, down, up, There's only four chords, so give it a try. 